Hello everyone, uh, this is just a quick intro to this video to show you some of my computers that I have. I got these ones over here, this Cool Master one we're going to be using in this video. Got this all in one over here, and then I have like a few, just a couple of computers over here. We've got some Macs, we've got some vintage Windows stuff, we have some slightly newer, sort of second or third gen i-series stuff. We've got some Core 2 Duos over here. What's this? We've got an old server. So if you guys want to see any experiments and have these computers featured in any future videos, do let me know. But this is the one we're going to be working with today. So I was just checking that this PC works. It does currently have Windows 11 on it. That will change. Here's the inside. It's got a lovely blue RGB LED. And I'll tell you about the rest of the specs when we're installing Windows. Because I'm not waiting over an hour for this. Alrighty, so you might not be able to see very much. I do apologize for the very home recording <laughs> style setup, but we can go ahead and choose our boot device, which will be UEFI. And that's been made with Rufus, so it should actually work. My question is, will it blue screen or not? No. Excellent, excellent. That's what we like to see. I don't know why the other drive isn't showing up here, but that's not really a problem at the moment. And we're just going to install Windows 7. So this looks like it should work fine. I did have Windows 7 on similar hardware back in the day. And it worked quite well. While Windows is installing, I'll tell you about why we actually are doing this. So I had a few comments regarding sort of Windows 98 and earlier operating systems having a look at those. And I really would quite like to. But there's a well-known bug if you use VMware with CPUs that are the newer Ryzen ones or sort of, I believe it's either 10th or somewhere between 10th and 12th gen Intel, things start going wrong. And there are patches you can install. You just get the floppy disk image, load it in VMware, install the patch, and it should work. But I don't really have very good luck with those. So my resolution here was to make a Windows 7 machine, find an old version of VMware that I used to use back in the day that I definitely paid for, and then hook it all up that way. Because I know it's going to work perfectly fine. It's going to be exactly how I used to use it back in the day. No problems. Windows 7 64-bit, VMware, Windows 98. We Gucci. Windows Me does work, and I did do that video, Windows Me versus uh, the Rogues, but the problem with that was that's as old as we can go without it glitching out, and even that wasn't perfect. I had to run a few different things to get that to work nicely for the video. Now, the specs of this machine, I did promise those earlier. So this is an i7-3770 CPU with 8 gigs of RAM, a 128 gig NetHack, sort of one of those cheap Chinese SSDs. They work quite well. I believe it should have a 1 terabyte hard drive, but if it doesn't, that's not really a deal breaker because Windows 7 and a couple of old VMs are not really going to take that much space up. And the graphics card is a GTX 750 Ti. Pulled that one out of storage and it's working nicely. Now later on in this video I'll go through and show you guys some of the things I like to do when I'm installing Windows on these old machines and they might help you actually. But I'll be back when we have some movement on the Windows install. So bringing you back over to my actual machine for a moment, this folder here is SDIO. So SDIO is a tool developed by Glenn Delahoy. It's called Snappy Driver Installer Origin. And essentially you can run that tool and it will install all the drivers for your hardware, as long as it can enumerate the hardware that's there. Now you can download the entire driver pack as a .torrent file from the website, I'll put the link in the description uh, from Glenn's page. And I keep it on a little external SSD and I just plug it into all of my old systems all the way up from Windows 2000 upwards to even Windows 10 and 11 you can do it if you're having some problems with Windows Update not getting drivers. The other things I have on here are Supermium which I have featured in a couple of videos before and it's pretty standard fare on my older Windows machines. It's just a Chromium based browser that actually works on everything from Windows XP onwards and Legacy Update which helps you bring your Windows XP. Actually I believe it works on ME in 2000 as well. It goes back quite a while could be wrong on that but it helps bring your old windows pcs back online and don't ask what the windows loader is if you're an unk you will know right so let's put our username in and we'll call this i7-3770 is that the time close enough I do apologize for the autofocus on the camera it's a phone i've got a xiaomi redmi note 8 pro so I ain't exactly filming with the newest iPhone or something. 
But here we are, the old familiar Windows 7 desktop. All right, let's get a slightly better screen resolution. Let's go. Yeah, that's nice. I'll make it so you guys can still read it. Before I install any drivers or anything, we're going to do a bit of customization that I always do in Windows, every version of Windows. And Windows looks better this way, and if you disagree, you are wrong. So we've got our drivers that I showed you, the external SSD that I showed you in the last little clip. And the first thing we'll do is run SDIO and you can see that in action. Run our 64 bit here. Can't even see. This reminds me of Rogamp, by the way. Just I'm watching the video through my phone and it looks like Rogamp. So we will have to allow access. Well, we don't, actually don't have to, but we will. And we'll go to select all, and you can see it's got our drivers for every little thing here. But the main one is literally just the graphics driver that we need. And it is as easy as just clicking install, and you should see it'll roll through it all. Now, I believe there is some official guidance advising against doing it the way I'm doing it, which is to have, like, you shouldn't have this on a USB drive in case it disconnects the USB driver in the middle of installing it, but I have never had any problems, so I just roll that way. Right, so I did some grinding off camera, and I didn't document the whole process, but we had to go through DirectX for OBS, we had to go through putting the machine into test mode to get the drivers to work for some reason, even though I'm using very old nvidia drivers they just don't work i think the digital signatures expired but here we are nonetheless we're finally in we've cracked the code now this is uh windows 7 it's not going to be on the network so we're just going to roll without any updates or anything like that but we're going to create our new virtual machine typical i'll install it later and see all these options we didn't have before so we're going to go windows 98 next sure and 8 gigs is fine and yeah, that looks perfect. So let me get an ISO loaded up and I will be back. Right, so I now have an ISO file loaded up. Please work. Ah! <laughs> ah! I almost had it. One moment, please. Okay, one quick trip to the BIOS later. Let's try this one more time. I swear if this doesn't work, I'm gonna crash out, honestly. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, CD-ROM boot, let's go. All right, so let's set up Windows now. And yes, and yes, okay. Yes, yes. Hopefully this works, by the way. I'm going to be really pissed if I can't get Windows 98 installed on this thing. That's the whole purpose of getting it sorted. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's better. All right. Continue. I think we're good now. But not web TV. Don't need that. It's fine, and we will be patriotic next next all right we're good to go hopefully this won't take 22 minutes but i will see you when it's done regardless of how long that might be and i know what's coming next but it looks like we are humming along quite nicely so that's good i'll tell you what if this does install i now have to do the next video on windows 98 because the effort that i put in to get to this point right and now that i have some sort of a capture set up we can actually make normal quality videos on windows 98 95 whatever 
Now just as an aside, because it appears to be frozen, I do find it funny that Microsoft includes this message saying, yeah, if it freezes, just try again in the uh, bottom left corner there. Because we may just have to do that. I didn't have this problem last time I used the old VMware setup on a different PC. I recorded a very old video on my second channel using a little Mac Mini. And funnily enough, I didn't have any of these problems at all. But I think we actually are good. Look at that. Just as I'm talking smack about Windows 98, it comes through. So, all right. Now, before I press OK, I can't hear the audio because I don't have any audio device plugged into this machine. So I'll just have to turn it down. But please let us get into the desktop. Please let us install VMware tools. Please, Windows 98, please. Please. Yes! Oh my god, let's go. Alright. Now, I don't think this is going to have sound, so that shouldn't be a problem. But let's get VMware Tools installed. Let's hope this works. Hope I don't have to find a really old version. I might have to, but... Come on. Do it. Oh, it's downloading VMware Tools. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need it. Surely VMware Tools comes with the VM software, right? Oh, yeah. Install it. Do it. Yes! Looks like perhaps despite Windows 7, my hardware, and Windows 98's best efforts, we are getting to the end of this here. Isn't it beautiful? All that effort just to see this. I love my Family 6 Model 10 Stepping 9. How good. Make this a little bit nicer. Line, yes. Uh, that's better. Wow, look at that. That looks great. Now, I probably won't record any videos on Windows 98 in this resolution just because it's a little bit large and it's a little bit difficult to see what's going on in 5.4, but... With all of that said and done, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this like cozier video. Do you have these sort of problems when you test your old hardware, when you try and make stuff work that seems like it should work? Do you have these problems or is this just a me thing? Is this just me skill issuing constantly? Because I'd like to think this is my prime, this 3770 750 Ti. I had this exact setup back in the day. I think actually I had a I had a 760 and then a 960, but you know, close enough. I had pretty much this exact same thing, VMware, Windows 98, all worked fine, and now it's like pulling teeth to get it to work. But like I said, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all again next time.